Good morning, everybody. My name is Ben uh, Lindy. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, so I'm going to do three things. I was going to share a bit about... Excuse me, what's your name? My first name is Ben. My last name is Lindy, L-I-N-D-Y. No problem. I was going to do three things. Uh, share a bit about what's going on today in Cincinnati Public Schools. Uh, second, tell you a bit about me, uh, where I come from, and why I'm running. Uh, and then third, tell you how I hope I can be part of a team uh, to take CPS where it can go next. Uh, and so, on the first, what's happening in CPS today, I, I think if we're honest, um, people just have very different experiences with Cincinnati Public Schools today. Uh, I'm from Cincinnati, I grew up here, I went to Cincinnati Public Schools, uh, I had a great experience in CPS, I graduated from Walnut Hills High School, which was the number one school in Ohio this year on the U.S. News List. My wife and I chose to raise our family here, we've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old who will be CPS students, um, partly because we had such a great experience with Cincinnati Public Schools. Uh, and there are families all over the city, whether they choose Walnut Hills or some other high school, uh, who have a great experience with CPS. Um, if we're honest, though, I think there are also far too many families who don't have that experience yet. Uh, when, when I was at Walnut, uh, you could drive less than three miles in any direction uh, and come to a school where barely 50% of the kids graduated. Uh, and today, although I think there's been real and important progress in CPS, uh, as some of the other candidates have mentioned, the district does still have a D. Um, in too many schools, um, kids don't have access to the kind of education that they do. And there's a third group of parents and families in CBS uh, who don't send their kids to CBS. They might choose the religious schools, they might choose the private school. Their tax dollars pay for the school system regardless. Uh, and I think they can reasonably want a school system that has, is as effective and as efficient as possible. Uh, and so I think as a starting point, I want to acknowledge that all three of those experiences are real experiences for families in Cincinnati today. Uh, and they reflect the broader theme of where we are as a city, uh, which is I think there's been real progress. I grew up here, and you can't look at Cincinnati and not feel like this is a more exciting and energetic city, including in its school system, than it was 20 years ago. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we cannot settle for where we are. Uh, I don't think we're done with our schools until every kid in every zip code has access to a fantastic public school, uh, and that's why I'm running. Um, I'll share briefly just a little bit more about my background. I mentioned that I, I came from Cincinnati. Um, when I was a kid, the people I admired the most uh, were the people who thought they could change the world. Uh, and I saw this in both of my parents growing up. My dad was a psychoanalyst who worked with Vietnam veterans. My mom was a social worker combating poverty. Uh, the teachers that I loved the most were the ones who taught us about people who changed the world and encouraged us to try and do the same thing. Uh, and that, that desire to try to do something big is what led me to join a group that I love and believe in called Teach for America. It trained me to be a public school teacher in a low-income public school in North Carolina where I taught for three years. Uh, I went on to study uh, education policy in law school. I uh, worked as an administrator in the D.C. public schools where I was in charge of teacher hiring. Uh, and then I helped get the first Teach for America region started here in Cincinnati about eight years ago. Um, and the, the two things I've learned over the last 15 years of working in public education uh, about trying to change the world is, first of all, it is incredibly hard. Uh, it is very difficult trying to change the world. Uh, the second thing I've learned, though, uh, is that it is actually possible if you refuse to give up and commit over and over and over again to trying to learn and get better. Uh, as a classroom teacher, uh, I was not a good teacher when I started. Uh, my, my seventh graders were, were very skeptical of why they should care about a subject like history, uh, not particularly interested in doing their own work. Uh, and my, my first efforts to get Teach for America started here in Cincinnati. I struggled with that for three years before that was successful. Um, but I am somebody who has learned that the only way to change the world is you refuse to give up, and you try over and over and over again to find people who are smarter and better than you are and learn from them. Uh, and that's the perspective I think I bring to the board. Uh, I've learned in 15 years of working in public education that you got to believe in kids, always believe in kids, and you never give up on kids. Uh, that's the kind of person I am. I'm very interested in learning and getting better from other cities that are trying things we're not trying here in Cincinnati yet. We're seeing real progress. We're still at a D. We've got to be willing to try some things differently. Uh, and um, I'm someone who wants to be a part of a team. Uh, I'd like to work with any of the fine candidates who are up here. I think everybody who is running brings something different for the school board, and I would welcome the chance to work with, with any of them. Um, so that's a bit about our school district, who I am, what I would bring. would love to answer questions. And thanks for